こんにちは。こんにちは。Welcome to our chat time. This is Manami and Thomas. お茶 is tea in Japanese. お茶 time is tea time. Enjoy your tea break, chatting about Japan and learn Japanese. Each video, you learn a new word in Japanese and its cultural context. Today's vocabulary is chocolate. Can you guess what it means? Exactly, it is the Japanese word for chocolate. For us, we usually shorten it and say choco. I love choco and it serves well with tea. It is a fabulous time to talk about choco because Valentine's Day is coming. Are you excited to receive presents from guys? Well, I'm in Japan, so not really. How come? Because In Japan, it's common for girls to give chocolate to all the guys around her, not only boyfriend. There is also Giri Choco, which we give out to express appreciation on Valentine's Day, such as colleagues and teachers. What does Giri really mean? Do you still remember this unique Japanese manner on Valentine's Day?、Mm, not really. Tell me more. Okay, so on Valentine's Day in America, guys give chocolate, flowers, and presents to girls, but in Japan, it is the other way. Giri here means obligation, means you have to. <laughs> Giri choco is for people who you have no feelings for. We give them out of manners and appreciation. Do you call all the chocolates you give out giri choco? So, there are actually two other different kinds of chocolate homemade choco and tomo choco. Homemade choco means the chocolate is given to her loved one or the person who she has a crush on. It kind of means confession. Tomo choco means just exchanging chocolates between friends. Wow, so many different levels of gifting chocolates. Girls in Japan must be very busy now sourcing the chocolates. Yes, therefore, all these giri, tomo, and homemade choco. We mostly shop for choco, but sometimes we even make chocolate for guys. When I was younger, I made chocolate with my mom.、Mm. I have actually just done my choco shopping in Tokyo. Oh, you went out shopping specifically for chocolates? Yes, it is a huge event for us. I went to one of the biggest department stores called Daimaru Matsuzakaya this week. Immediately after New Year, the department stores will put out Valentine's Day booth. Usually, they collected all the famous chocolate brands from all over the world. I want to see more of your chocolate adventure. Great, here are some clips from my trip. Here we are. Follow me to the chocolate paradise. Let me count 5, 10, 20, 50.50. So many options here. Yes, there are countless chocolate, not only brands from Japan. You can also find Western ones such as La Maison du Chocolat and Godiva. Wow, seems fun. Did you find anything you like? Yes, I want to show you these two brands which I like a lot and they are both made in Japan. First one is the brand Kiki. They use traditional Japanese ingredients such as shiso, takesumi, sakura, and yuzu. I tasted sakura and yuzu in store. I love it a lot because it felt like the fresh ingredients were melting in your mouth.、Mm. I wish you can try kiki chocolate so you are able to experience and learn the stories. Behind each seasonal ingredients. 
Nice. I tried quite a few Japanese flavored chocolates before, such as matcha, red bean, and even wasabi. Love chocolates with Japanese ingredients. They are very special. How about the other brand? The second one is this Satsumagura. It contains Japanese liquor such as sake or shochu inside every piece of chocolate. Each piece tastes different from a variety of sake around Japan. I hope someday when you are back in Japan, you are able to enjoy the chocolate I am showing. After seeing all those unique and cute chocolate, which one do you want to try? Uh, I want to try the sake chocolate. I actually have not drunk much sake when I was in Japan. So I would like to try what it is like when the sake is inside the chocolate. So, girls give guys chocolate on Valentine's Day. How mm -hmm. about the guys? Are they not returning the gift? Of course, guys the gift back. If a guy receives chocolate, he will return something to the girl on White Day, which comes a month after Valentine's Day. What is White Day? We don't have that here in the US. Yes, I know. This culture is only in Japan. White Day is on March 14th. It is the day for guys to send gifts to the girls. I see. March 14th in the US is Pi Day. We eat pie and the Japanese eat chocolate on the same day. Interesting to see the, the diversity of cultures. So are you all ready for Valentine's Day? I might give Giri Choco to my teammate, but I haven't decided yet. For the previous Valentine's Day, on average, how many boxes of chocolate did you send? I usually only give one, which is the homemade choco. What about you? When you were in Japan, did you receive a lot of chocolate? Mm, not a lot usually, but for my last Valentine's Day in Japan, since my friends knew I was leaving Japan, so I received more than 20 boxes of chocolate. Wow, 20 boxes of chocolate? Were they all Giri Choco? Probably. Maybe some of them are Tomo Choco or even Home Choco. Only God knows. I always wish someday I could get those nice chocolates again. Yes, of course. I will give you Tomo Choco on Valentine's Day. Thank you. I will get you something for White Day too. Today, we learned the Japanese word for chocolate which is chocolate. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel for new videos. Comment below on what you want to know about Japan. We look forward to having our chat time with you soon. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Bye bye. bye. bye.